some bad news and some good news. I can give you the bad news first. Uh, the bad news is that Wilfie Warren on your program isn't here. Oh. He was fantastic the last two nights, but he's not here. He's keeping his vomiting bag to himself. So sorry about that. But the good news is that the part of Wilf Warren uh, will be taken by Lou Barclay. He's never been to a rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> he saw it once on Friday, but he's game for it, he's up for it. And it's, he adds a certain frisson, a bit of excitement to the cast. <laughs> <laughs> you know that he's a new member of the cast. <coughs> so, anyway, anyway, so the show must and the show will go on. So, <laughs> I really like to do is find myself a wife. 
be my princess and properly settle down. Aww. You are a good man, sire. You deserve to find happiness. Perhaps one day, soon you will. Well, you never know. I can but dream. <laughs> You said. I <laughs> know where we are. We Let's face it, we're lost. Well, it's hardly my fault. <laughs> you may be a witch, but I'm not. <laughs> this is clearly a FIFO fi I find no go zone. <laughs> and I get no reception of my spell phone. <laughs> some fiber optics down here and quickly. If <laughs> only, if only my fruit stick had not run out of battery, I wouldn't have been saddled with the likes of you. A fairy. <laughs> Stop moaning. <laughs> Look, there's a house over there. <laughs> and some people. <laughs> Hurrah, we're seen. <laughs> Shelter 
and food within. these two in the woods. They put up an enormous fight. <laughs> we defeated them after a fierce battle. <laughs> Didn't we? No, no. No. <laughs> we should be very grateful if you would give us shelter and food with really. you. breakfast in the morning. I'm sorry, we're full to overflowing inside. You see, it's those Morris men. There's hordes of them in every nook and cranny. Isn't that right, Carruthers? Indeed, sire. They're, I've never seen so... I've never... <laughs> Indeed, sire. I've never seen so many hankies in all my life. There are rivers everywhere. Well, I suppose there's always a boot room, sire. Out of the question. There's no room here for somebody as ugly as her. Well, that's quite all right. Perhaps after a glass of water, you could put us on the road to Bath. No, that's not all right at all. <laughs> Who are you calling ugly? <laughs> you refuse us hospitality. I should, I should put a spell on you as you cast a spell. I should turn you into a hideous beast <laughs> that no one can break until a handsome young maid falls in love with which will be never. <laughs> I, can, I can see good looks disappear. A beast, you shall be. <laughs>
Wicked Witch. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> and what we need now is a beauty. A beauty in Kristen. <laughs> Very difficult. Perhaps we should extend to Nailwell and Ingalls Batch. No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> what about Marksbury and Tinsbury? We'd need a miracle, wouldn't we? <laughs> I don't know. Where are we going to find a beauty? Beauty, beauty, my boss! My boss! <laughs> jobs. All she's got to do is the dusting, mm. the washing, yeah. the hoovering, mm. the polishing, yeah. and the trimming of the bushes. <laughs> 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 It's Saturday, you know. Yes. And you can sweep that up as well going to hall. And once you've done that, you can clean the grate out and then you can wash the windows. Oh yes, beauty. I've left you a little something in the bathroom. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, sister, straight away. Ah, <laughs> oh, my three darling daughters. What a touching trio you two make. <laughs> Since your poor mother died, you've been a great comfort to me. And it gives me huge joy to know that you are such good friends. <laughs> One day I will see you all married to handsome husbands as you deserve. Oh, oh, Father, you've been so kind to us. We will not want to leave you all alone. Oh, yes, we will. <laughs> I'm so fortunate to have such a wonderful family and to know that my ships are sailing the high seas, sped on by a fair wind, plying their trade and adding to our considerable fortune. And keeping us in the, keeping us in the manner in which we're accustomed to. Mm, a lap of luxury, you mean, yes? Yes, sir, we can give to the poor what we do not need. <laughs> I'm a messenger. I have a letter. <laughs> a letter? Eh? What does it say? It says, woe is you. You are ruined. Ruined? Your ships 
have all been wrecked as she. Ships wrecked. Their cargo's lost. Cargo's lost. And you have no money to pay your debts. No money? <coughs> oh, daughters, prepare yourselves for a life of austerity. Oh! <laughs> the no fine clothes. <laughs> no frills and furs. <laughs> nothing. I have nothing. Oh, my dear girls. But father, this is so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> How can we find husbands now? Father, this is so unfair. Why were we even born? <laughs> <laughs> we can't do like beggars. Father, don't worry. We will manage, and we'll always have each other. <laughs> <laughs> Everything must go to pay your debts. They live. Another letter. Oh. So I see. 
say. He <laughs> says, your luck may be changing. Luck changing? One of your ships was speared in the storm. It has been sighted in safe anchorage. You must go to it at once and sell the cargo to revive your fortunes. Yes, yes, sell the cargo, revive my fortunes! Father, go quickly, bring me back some dresses. <laughs> and some perfume for me. <laughs> and some jewels, jewels. And some nice dresses for me. And an Imani watch. And some, and some pretty shoes as well. <laughs> Abusive, what do you desire? Oh, Father. It would be enough to see you happy again. <laughs> but if you could bring me back a single red rose, since our fortunes changed, none has bloomed in our garden. It shall be yours. I shall go to the dockside straight away. Look after each other while I am gone. Of oh, course, Father. <sighs> right, you. Get to work. Make us more beautiful. Come on. <laughs> on my own. <laughs> 
Now that looks a good milker. I think he'll fetch a lot of money. That's why we didn't get much milk out of this. What we need now is an auctioneer. So, 
That is salvage costs and storage. So there we are. Oh. 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 And auctioneer's costs. Pleasure doing business. Thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Once more, fate has conspired to ruin me.
I've lost my fortune, my livelihood, and now to cap it all, I have lost my way. This forest is so hard to get out of. Hello, I see a magnificent <coughs> large building. No, it's not finished. <laughs> There's still cement mixers blocking the road. <laughs> <laughs>
safely. We feared you were dead. It is so good to see you. Oh, and look at all, all these fine clothes you brought. Oh, and all these jewels. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Here, yeah, Beauty, is your rose. <laughs> oh, Father, how lovely. So your ship did come home. And you managed to sell the cargo for a handsome profit. And you kept your promise of buying us all presents. Yes, Beauty, that is exactly what happened. I did sell the cargo well, didn't I? Oh, oh yes, I did. Oh, jewels for your sisters and even managed to find your rose. <laughs> Father, he stole it. <laughs> Father, I know Alex from your Charlotte's eggs and Angie's honey were all very precious. But surely that did not raise enough money to buy all this. And even Thomas can't grow such a beautiful rose in February. Are you sure you're telling me the whole story? Entirely, yes, my dear. No, he's not. I'll never stop. <laughs> Tell me the truth, Father, however dreadful it is. You're right. I was about to die. I was lost in the woods alone. And I came across this castle with a beautiful rose garden. And I thought of my love for you and dared to pick a rose in which a hideous beast appeared and he was going to kill me. Oh, Father! But he let me go if I promised to return to him within a month and stay forever. And you did this for me? But you'll never see your home again. I cannot let you do this. I will go in your place. I will stay with the bleed beast, and you can be free to care for my sisters. I couldn't possibly allow that. But you must. I can't let you. Without you, my sisters have nothing. I can't. You are needed here, Father. Very well. So be it. Farewell, my dearest daughter. Farewell, Father. Farewell, sisters. Are you going? 